Okay, peeps, we are back with the guide for Sub Zero. We are currently about to look at his uh, special attacks and see the benefits and the downsides of using them. This one is a bit funny. This is based on his two ranked playlists, tournament loadouts. One only has two moves, it looks like. So let's take a look at that and then we'll look into the other variation. Okay, so <laughs> as I said, he's only got two moves in this one. Let's double check that. He's got Ice Ball and cold shoulder so let's see what they do the ice ball is a slow start up move uh that you don't want to use all the time you don't want to use it all the time you just want to like you want to be at this spacing somebody jumping in cool uh somebody's uh trying to zone you out and you see a gap cool amplify that throw that real quick you know what i mean and then you can advance and get your combo so you want to go like that you know, Ice Ball is good, but it's not one of them moves you want to throw out. Because, especially if they're zoning, and you're just, you don't have any meter, and, um, you know, just down here blocking. Trying to throw it out while they're trying to zone you out, and they've got faster projectiles. You know, it, it it's not worth doing, but if you amplify it, it is worth doing. So, you know, only really do that if you are waiting for somebody to maybe get up, and uh, you know that they're not blocking that much. Uh... You know, that's only the, the times you want to do it. It's good though, because it resets what you want to do. And maybe if you know combos by the time you want to play as him, it will allow you enough time to then get in, do what you must do, you know, uh, punish him. And it really pisses people off. It pisses me off when I'm playing against um, Sub-Zero and somebody ice balls me. I'm, I'm sitting there salty until, I don't know, the good three seconds that you have to punish me so yeah it's good to piss people off if that's the only reason why you're playing uh mortal kombat but yeah ice ball is good uh even better amplifier because it comes out quick especially as well if you're if you've been throwing these out and people are like okay i can i can um i can punish that or they're in, we're in each other's face and we're here spaces like that and he sees me go like this if you throw that out real quick like, or if they go to punish you, so they see you do this a lot, so they know, okay, well, that's slow, I can quickly get in. Uh, no, no, you cannot, because as soon as we do this, we can amplify it and get in. So, uh, only use Ice Ball in situations. I mean, if you're here, you want to use it amplified. If you're at a distance and the person isn't doing anything, throw it out. If the person's jumping a lot, throw it out. Catch them in the air. Uh, other other reasons. Person's getting up and you feel like it's gonna hit them one time. Do that. So you've done a, a, a knockback attack. Let me see if I can figure one out again. Uh, what was it? Y X Y. Oh, press the wrong button after that. Y X Y. Maybe catch them. I mean, he got up real quick. So yeah, nah. I don't know. Maybe you can catch people on the rise. Um, so do it that way. <laughs> Okay, looking at his second move, uh, it is back forward A. So, uh, it's cold shoulder, it, it, it's a slow start up, people can punish that quick. So, uh, be careful with that. I mean, if you're spacing and people are doing stuff like doing this, back and forwards, and you're thinking, okay, I want to punish this quick, oops, quick, throw this out, uh, that will punish them, and then you kind of piss them off as well, and... Uh, do you get advantage? Yes, you do. So you want to do that, maybe go into an overhead to make them think, no, silly person, why do you keep going back and forward like that? I have punished you, ha ha ha. You know, do stuff like that. Um, amplified version is <laughs> basically a fatal blow, man, jeez. Okay, I did it late. You need to make sure you do it quick then. If you do it late, you're just going to miss. Or you could probably do it late if somebody has blocked that attack. And you want to punish them. Yeah. But I've seen stuff like people who play as Scorpion do stuff where they, um, they do that. And then because they know that you're going to punish it because you blocked it, they wait like a split second. And then they do their amplified move. 
because you're already in the process of putting in another move, uh, it makes you have to get hit by his his upcoming move because you didn't see it come in. They've already done it. It's probably quick start up. Um, so it's one of the things that you need to really look out for. And as a sub sub zero player, uh, try and throw it out. Even if you miss it or they block, uh, throw it out. Throw it out late as well, cause especially if you know that they like to punish you a lot and they are patient and that's what they're waiting for. Do it slow. Uh, wait, do it, wait, do it slow. So yeah, uh, cold shoulder's good, but in terms of, I mean, they're both mid attacks, right? That's mid. Oh, that's a high. So if you're, if, if the person is crouching low without blocking, bruv, your yeah, ice ball's gonna be a big waste of time. Does it change if you, so it's a mid when you amplify it. So in a way that's kind of good. Uh, but just be careful if you're just throwing out raw ice block blasts because it's a high. So somebody can crouch that and quickly get in. So yeah, be careful. Uh, cold shoulder, uh, it is a mid. Amplified, it is still a mid. Um, so yeah, if they're blocking, uh, that is not going to be great. Let's see what it's like on block. Uh, cold shoulder. Yeah, he'll be able to punish that. Easy. Can you get out of it if you amplify it? No, wait. Okay. Uh, they'll punish you. So be very careful. Don't throw that out all the time. Use it. Uh, maybe use it when people are jumping. Let's see what it's like when he's jumping. Okay, so finally after you <laughs> eventually got him while he was jumping towards us uh it's not worth doing trust me it's it's definitely not worth doing uh because it's too fast for you to be able to i mean if you're good at, at timing the right time to do it that's good but it's not even like you can um punish them if they're jumping towards you by doing an amplified version because as soon as you do it as you punish them and then you do the amplifier because you punish them in the air they're still in the air so you can't punish them with the amplifier version after because it doesn't hit so just don't use that move unless you know that they're just being cheeky and they're doing the same sort of thing where they're just kind of here and you know that you can get them while they're moving forward you know um just just don't really use that move i don't know why anybody would use this variation because if you've only got two moves and cold shoulder is one of them wait you're gonna have a bad time so yes all right cool so let's look at the other variation and yes i'll see you on the next flip side in a sec okay so we are now on to second variation which is called thin ice uh this one has a lot more uh reasons to play as <laughs> as this variation because he more or less has everything that well i mean there was only two but he has the ice ball if you didn't have the ice ball uh on this one i would understand that maybe you would want the ice ball variation on the other one but you got ice ball on this and you lose the the solder uh barge thing which you know isn't really isn't really desired unless you catch them so uh do we need to go back over ice ball again no uh Oh yes we do, solely because Ice Ball cannot be amplified in this uh, variation. You need to be very careful. You can't, you can't amplify it, so it's literally, he's got that slow start up every time. You need to be very careful. Yeah? Uh, as I said, if you can't amplify it, only really throw it out at great distances. If the other person is a teleport character, don't, don't do it, don't do it, you're going to get punished. Uh, if the other person can outzone you, don't do it because you're going to get punished. Um, you know, just do it if people are jumping towards you. If you can see that they're just out here, just, I don't know, doing stuff that you feel like you can punish at distance, um, then do it. Maybe you're at this, uh, this uh, range and you can see a point to do it, then do it. Then you'll have that advantage because then you can go in and do a certain combo. Combo, sorry. So, uh, Ice Ball isn't safe in this uh, variation. So, if you want Ice Ball to be safe, use the other variation, okay? Um, okay, so next one is Polar Axe. Uh, can you do it normally? Is that what it's meant to No, it's not. 
Okay, so that's the one that's coming later. So he gets a air attack. Uh, so if I guess this is the one to punish zoners. So if somebody's trying to zone you, and they're there, you can kind of be like, okay, block that, block that, jump in. Because they would have thrown another projectile, you could then hover in the air and throw that. Then it's gonna make them think, oh, jeez. Does he get get? Yeah, he, I think there's enough stagger enough for you to be able to get in and continue your pressure game. But he get in. Yeah, you can get in and throw. Um, so that is the way to punish zoners. Just go like that. Get in. That zoners, especially if zo zoners are normally crap people. The zoners are probably are normally the people that are unhappy in life. <laughs> so as soon as you get up close to them and you're going up to them like that after you've done this, so as soon as you're in this position, they're panicking because they don't know. They don't know their options. So, uh, do that a lot. I mean, if they're zoning you, be ready to do it. Uh, make sure you're right next to them before you go to throw. Because, yeah, if you do that, you can go into various mix-up uh, situations, stuff like that. They're not going to know how to deal with it. Especially, as well, uh... You know, that's enough stagger, enough for you to be able to get in and do that. So, the Polar, the polar Axe is really good. The Air Polar Axe is really good in zoning situations. Because then you can take control again. Uh, the next one is Frigid Storm. So, let's see what this is. Slow start up. Uh, does it count as a projectile? Okay, so does Frigid Storm act as a shield? Okay, wait, do it, do it, do it. No, it doesn't. Okay. So why would you want to do that? Jump, I think it's only really for jump-ins. Can't amplify it either. Same thing with Polar, um, polar Axe as well. You can't amplify it. Um, so... Uh, it's no, it's no good because she punishes me if I was to do that. So I guess that is really just kind of like an anti-air attack that does. Let's see how much damage it does. Crap damage. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a combo ender. Maybe you can cancel into it. Yeah. So it's just a combo extender. Uh, a thing to do. Um. At the end of a combo, if you want to push somebody away, so maybe you're doing a combo that doesn't. Uh, the only combo that you can uh, use to punish people are, is the one that keeps you face to face. So maybe you want them to get out of your face. You could just um, special cancel into a fidget storm. So like this. That is the wrong move. You know what it is? My button is set to release. So when I go to do fidget storm, it's still it's still releasing. X thinking that I am trying to do ice ball, so okay, we can't do that either. So why X Y uh storm works? Yeah, X Y frigid storm, push them away. Uh, that's the only time that I feel like frigid storm is good. Maybe you want to piss people off and you want to throw out a new move that they might not know. Frigid storm, but other than that, it's not that great. Also, uh. We are now going to move on to Death Circle, or Death Circle, sorry, uh, Barrage, which is the one that we saw earlier. That never really, unless you want a um, multi hitting mid attack, I've never seen the, the benefit or any Sub Zero use that at all. So, uh, reasons why maybe, maybe somebody's doing a move that is requires this sort of spacing. And you feel like they're gonna do it so you step back so you step out of their range as well plus you hit them what's that like on block uh can they punish it let's see if they can punish it no this, maybe this is good for pissing people off at a distance they're just not they're not able to get in or something like that and uh, or they're trying to Keep you there, like somebody like Quarter Khan. 
step out of their, their, their range. Yeah, do it like that. And just make sure you're in. Oh crap. You tried it. You tried it. Uh, <laughs> make sure you stay out of a range where they will be able to get you, man. Just, just do that. Yeah, so you can't amplify it as well, so be careful with that. So you can block in time as well if they do a, a projectile. I mean, the only thing that can really punish that is probably a teleport. But yeah, I can't set her to do it. So um, yeah, all right, cool. So we're going to move on to slide, which is back forward A. Uh, back forward A is, I think, his best tool. Uh, it can catch you while you're... Thank you, Frost. Thanks for that. <laughs> it's his best tool because it's a low, a fast moving low as well. So people won't see it come in, especially if you're if you're only really done a uh, highs and mids game. Maybe somebody's annoying you and they are controlling you with their moves. You want to get out, you quickly throw that out. Somebody's at a distance and they're throwing out uh, projectile attacks. It goes straight under those attacks. So if they're high projectile attacks, use that to get out of it and punish them as well uh amplified will do a big amount of damage um so i, f I feel like this this whole um variation this thin ass var variation is literally one to just punish donors people are just doing attacks from a distance or people who at whose attacks are ranged you want to use this um this variation because um yeah it allows you to do high damage in situations where you punish them a lot so um yes you slide slide is one of his beneficial tools when you use when you combine that with slides above your mix-up game is mad because people will expect you to do slide a lot and then you do that in the corner, above, overhead, they're upset, you know, it's rude, it's, it's, a, it's a rude thing to do, these two combinations. So I think his, bene his most beneficial tools, especially if you're playing as Thin Ice, is back forward uh, A, uh, in order to be able to uh, mix it up, combined with forward Y. To do the overhead uh if there's only new out this is uh, purely situational if there's only new out you want to do frigid storm uh to get in uh you no sorry that was polar axe you want to do polar axe to get in frigid storm really to finish combos uh and to get people away from you so oh okay you can cancel into that as well Fridge Storm to get people away from you. You can do this if it hits. I mean, to be honest, you don't really want to cancel into that. Solely because if they've blocked the first two hits and then you go into that, all they have to do is jump and kick you in your head. So, be very careful of cancelling into that. But, uh, Deathsicle Barrage, it's to control this sort of spacing. Get out of their range by stepping back and then punish them for even trying to go towards you. Um, I think that would be a good thing to use against a cool Khan. Um, so yes, he's he's basic and only real good move in this uh, variation is slides and his overheads. Ice ball is purely situational. So is uh, polar axe. Bridges storm isn't really beneficial at all. Deathsicle barrage is situational because you need to use it to control range and spacing. Um, and that's it. So uh, have slide as one of your main tools in this uh, in this variation. Okay, make sure. Um, so yes, that was a look at Sub Zero and his um, his specials. Um, be nice is his better variation. So just use that. Okay. Um, so thank you for watching. Uh, if you watched it and I, f I helped you at all, uh, just do me a favor, like the video, uh, comment if you can, if you've got the, the tools to comment and let me know, yo, you did well, sir. Thank you. Um, and 
subscribe if you can. I've seen a lot of subscribers and I appreciate you lot. Especially if you want your own uh, request, just write in the comments below, I'll do it. Uh, this one was requested, so I did it. So uh, yeah, make sure you do that. But yes, amigos, I really do appreciate you lot. So uh, until next time, I'm going to say adios, amigos. Ugh.